Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in with a battle replay. I actually have Dan here from the Hungry Wolves. Dan. Hello. He How's is you? actually playing as Parthia in this replay. It is an actual replay. This is not a live battle, but where I figured I would try and give a little bit of a uh, first person advice kind of thing. So Dan here is playing as Parthia. On the opposite side of the field here, we have Rome, who's being played by Makina, or Makenna, I guess. Uh, we will go over the Roman army first. The funds, Dan, on this, you said we're kind of high, because I'm noticing a lot of really good units over here for Rome. So... What was the, what was the question? What was the, what were the funds at? The funds, the funds were... If I remember correctly, it was on... Ultra. Ultra funds, yeah, I was figuring I might, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. It could be large. I could be wrong. Well, with the amount, I don't know. I would have to double check, make sure the price is here for the Roman units. But let's get into the army comp here for Rome. Uh, Rome is actually bringing his front line. He's got six units of legionary cohorts mixed in between. He's also got three units of the Socii Extraordinare. Actually, I don't really see this unit a whole lot. Is this a DLC unit, or is this an actual unit that Rome can bring? No, I think this is a unit that Rome can bring. They're quite cheap. They're ready to be cheap. Oh, are they really? Okay. Well, let's get in uh, take a look at some of these Roman Legionnaire cohort guys. Pretty cool looking guys. More into the Socii Extraordinare. So, yeah, that's pretty much this guy, McKenna's, or McKenna's first front line here. Uh, his second line here, he's got three units of levies which is a javelin unit and yeah their range is only 80 so that's it's gonna kinda put him in a little bit of a disadvantage his guys are gonna have to come way further than your guys do in order to do any damage um, then in his rear line here we actually have four units of his spear units which is uh, triarii here actually triarii is a pretty good unit I know they're not that expensive but they actually are pretty good they're, I mean melee defense 64 that's pretty solid Armor 95. That's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty good unit there for a spear unit. For a not for you know a cheaper spear unit. Uh, on either side of his army here, he's got one unit of equites here, and then his general is a. I believe yeah, it's just a regular general's bodyguard right here. So then we're gonna swing on over to Dan's side, and. Uh, Dan is actually bringing all cavalry <laughs> to this field battle. There's a, there's a reason for it. Yeah, I was going to ask, Dan, is there a reason why you decided to bring, uh, well, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 units of cavalry to this field battle? <laughs> well, small story time. Uh -huh. Um Essentially, the guy that we faced, that I'm facing here, we were in a lobby before. Mm. As we were uh, on our last battle, we were fighting. I think I was Carthage. I don't remember who he was playing as. Maybe one of the barbarian factions. Mm. Um, <clears throat> but basically, throughout the fight, this guy was uh, very, very toxic. If you would, he was. He would. Um, I mean, I'm going to try and keep this PG, but he uh, he would talk about things like. Uh, Typical toxic player behavior. So he took about family members and oh, your mum's this, your sister's this. Uh, yeah. So like, I mean, nine times out of ten, people can just go, okay, yeah, whatever. And they can carry on playing, and that's what I did. Um, so basically, this guy stuff. brought it on himself. <laughs> he basically, brought he yeah, brought we, this cavalry invasion on himself, basically by himself. We never finished the last fight. Um, I think he uh, something happened. One of us, I think he dropped connection actually. But when I got back into the lobby, there he was, still in the lobby, which I'd never seen before. I always thought they kind of just dropped back out. But hmm. as I say, there he was. Um, so he's still saying, "Oh, I had you on the ropes. I had you on the ropes." Well, yeah. dude, none of our forces ever engaged, so no one had anybody on the ropes. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, essentially, he uh, he wasn't um, a very sportsman-like player, so to punish him, this is what I brought. Okay, so let's he get like <laughs> let's let's get into Dan's uh, army comp here. He's actually got four units of noble uh, noble blood cavalry, two on this side, two on the opposite side over here. He's also got with him six units of the Parthian horse archers, 
which I don't really play Parthia a whole lot, so let's bring up their stats. Range is, well, yeah, you definitely will have the range game on him, and I think you do have the missile damage on him as well. Yeah, his is only 29, yours is 40? Yeah. 40. So, and you all obviously have the advantage because they're on horseback as well. Armor is shit. <laughs> wow, their armor is yeah, not really good at all. It it's is, only 10. It's absolutely terrible. I could have brought some more heavily armored horse archers, but then there was money. Yeah. Uh, so, Dan, like I said, he's got the four units of the blood, Noble Blood Cavalry. He's got six units of horse archers. He's actually bringing th uh, three units of these Royal Cataphracts, which these guys are just basically tanks on legs. I mean, look <laughs> at these. Look at the horses. Just the horses. I mean, the guy's covered in armor, obviously, but look at the horse. Like, that is a full coat. That is a full rug of armor. Okay. Even look at their eyes. Yeah, I was going to bring up their eyes. I'm surprised they can see. Yeah, that's kind of... Wow. That is... <laughs> that is some armor on these guys. Uh, let's swing on back over to the other side here real quick. Or as quick as I can, because sometimes my something happens um, he's also got a unit of his median cavalry here and the final unit that he is bringing is actually a secondary type of cataphracts that Parthia can use it's called a eastern cataphract unit which let's see they're 67 actually let's scroll back charge bonus for the royal cataphracts is 76 melee is 50 weapon is 27 oh so the eastern cataphracts are actually not as good as the Royal Cataphracts at all. Oh, your Royal Cataphracts, super heavy shock. These guys are... Oh, no, they're super heavy shock as well. Huh. Okay, I wonder why their stats are so different. Is there a big difference in price on them? Yeah, so uh, I think, if I remember rightly, the Eastern Cataphracts there are about 1,060. Mm -hmm. And I think the Royals are two, perhaps 300 more. Wow. I think. Somewhere along those lines. Well, they both have but Trample. It seems. Good value for money. And I'm not going to lie, actually, um, a lot of these, because again, this is one of my first times playing Path here as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, a lot of these abil uh, abilities that you find on the Cataphracts, I never knew properly how to utilize. Uh. So, so, I'm just going to make a quick, a quick disclaimer. Some of the guys watching this video are going to be pretty um, <laughs> triggered, let's say, <laughs> that I'm not doing it correctly. I fixed myself at the end, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I have another question here for you. Mm -hmm. uh, I noticed the time down here is 37 minutes long of a 1v1 field battle. Mm -hmm. uh, do you basically, I mean, can you, do you want, do you want us to just see this? Because guys, I just want to say this, I'm, this is the first time I'm seeing this replay. Dan actually just sent it to me a couple of minutes ago. So, uh, do you want us to just basically see it as it happens and... You know, you can kind of fill in the gaps as as uh, what goes on, or maybe what your mindset was and stuff like that. I feel like um, once this battle starts playing, and you watch how this Roman player is going to react to me, mm. you'll be able to understand it. And because he's done the what the thing he's done is what stretched the game out, is what I'm going to say. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure if that makes any sense. <laughs> it really doesn't, but hey, it might end up making sense in a little bit. So let's get this one going. Immediately, you're sending your... you got them broken up into two separate units here. So you've got yeah. three horse archers on either side. And then... So this side is actually lighter than that side. You're, this side is the one that has more of the heavy... Oh no, actually... It's pretty much even. It's just this well, this one unit of median melee cavalry there. Yeah, I do remember trying to get it so it's even both sides. Mm. But you can see the Roman player right now. How he's reacting is exactly how I wanted him to react. It looks like he's starting to try to like box up a little bit, yeah, which but you know, it could be beneficial. But with those horse, I mean, you got you got three units of horse archers on either side. That's going to eventually start being a bit of a detriment to him, will it not? It can, yeah, to, to a player that understands how to counter these boxes, yeah, it's going to be very detrimental, but to be fair on this Roman player, as much as we didn't get along, this is the only thing I feel he could have done that could have lasted this long. Yeah. Or made him last this long. 
Well, he does have um, all of his edges connected. That's. The, I was actually wondering right here in the back. I saw a large hole here in the back line. I was just. I was hoping he was going to get that closed. All right. So we got some of your horse archers moving up a little bit. Looks like maybe yeah. they're getting a little bit closer. So at this point, I'm I'm kind of just trying to apply some pressure because if you notice now, I've got all my guys in a it's sort of a weirder looking box. So I've kind of covered all of his corners. Oh yeah, no, so he's he's pretty much surrounded. It looks so like. now his head is just. I'm trying to get it so his head is on the swivel. So he's just taking a volley. He's missed. Yeah. Was that with um, the levies or was that with the cohort? That was with the levies. That was the levies. And now he's it pulling was. them back out. Looks like he's trying to get your timing. To a degree, it looks like he's. That's what he's trying to do. So I noticed what he's doing there. I felt at the time this was a bit of a bait. So, mm. um, I'll save it for later because I think the, the that part comes a little bit later. Well, like I but said, like I said just before, you know, give us give us as the time was going on. So, like you said, at this moment, this, you felt like this was kind of a bait. Oh, what do you got going on over here? Another unit of his horse, your horse archers moving in over here. Is yeah, that so range for point, them? No, that's not range for them. That's way too far. Well, to be fair, with the range, the range on horse archers is always really, really strange because I think how how Rome two works is if you know the little range rectangle you get for your range units. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that the enemy unit has to be fully inside, or at, the, at least the vast majority of that unit has to be inside. The rectangle, okay. but the horse arches is not a rectangle; it's a circle. So we got some fire going on. Looks like you're. Are you taking shots at his general? I am. I'm being one of those guys and taking shots at the general. It's war, you know. Well, I mean, no, I understand. Oh, this one actually. Are you shooting? No, you're still shooting at the general again. Yeah, this is this is one of the detriments to uh, boxing yourself up. You give yourself. You're giving. He's giving him his general clear shots. But you're actually yeah. starting to lose some of your archers on this side. Actually, wow. I am. 12 down this... already in that unit. Yeah, so essentially um, what's going on is this going as part here can have some negatives and positives. So the unit you saw earlier on the left-hand side from where we are now. Over here? Yeah, you may have noticed in the corner of your eye, of your eye they were chased off by a legionary cohort unit. Yeah. Yeah, they sallied forth, so I had to get them back. But as I was getting them back and making sure the legionary cohort were, were not chasing me, that's when he moved up his levy. So, some fair play to him. He, know, he roughly knows what he's doing, okay. I'll give him that. Um, but that's not deterring me at all. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you have a looks like you have a pretty good game plan here, and it kind of oh oh oh. See this this I wouldn't be doing if I was if I was to ever make a box like this I would never charge out I would never ever ever charge out because eventually mm. you're gonna run out of ammo and even if you take out my my range like the only thing I would really worry about is my general that's really the only thing I would worry about especially playing as Rome because I'm pretty sure all of these units yeah they have a testudo the legionary cohort absolutely has a testudo uh, and all of them have Testudo, as yeah, far as the infantry them. does, so... Rome really so, doesn't have to do much, he can just stand here. He could just stand there. I mean, at this point, what I'm looking to do is, I know that... No. He's let me yeah. <laughs> I, I know saw it, I saw it, sorry about that, I just saw that real quick. No, 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 that's okay. <laughs> Alright, so... Now, right here is a problem. Right here, this is a huge problem. In my eyes, this would be a big problem for him because he just sent out three units to take out one unit of cavalry. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he's got some holes. He's got some holes here in his lines now. This, this is this, this is open. That the right there is, is he, open. Yeah. So the problem that he has is he has used every single one of his infantry units to make up the box. Yeah. So he has no reserves. He has no reserves to plug up a hole because if if I was if I was feeling lucky and I had another, say, let's say, one of my cataphracts nearby, mm -hmm. something is going to be toast. Oh, absolutely. Something would have been toast. But I've already broken now his levy unit that he sallied out. Yep, I see that. So 
And you the really game didn't I'm... lose? Well, actually, no, you did lose. You lost almost half that unit. Yeah, yeah, I did lose quite a few. But what I'm trying to do at this very point, so as of that moment, mm. I'm now just trying to waste his ammo for his levies, just trying to outrun his um, his unit's abilities to lock onto the target and fire. Because as soon as they lock, as soon as they lock, let off their um, their peeler, mm. that's it. I can just change direction with my horse archers, which are very agile and nimble. Yeah. Which is another thing, it's, the, it's all the micromanaging that I, myself, have to do. Mm -hmm. So his units can take a punch, but my guys have no armor. Yeah. Unless you, unless you get to the cataphracts. Yeah. So we got some more shots coming in <coughs> from this depleted unit. Still still taking little peck shots at his general. He's actually down to <laughs> 25 bad. now. But now his levies don't know what to do. His general is running backwards and forwards across the uh, the box, but he's now he is always going to be in range of one of my horse archers. Mm -hmm. He he's now screwed a little bit for himself. Well, see here, like what you were just saying about him him not having any any uh, uh, um, reinforcements, like you said. Now with him reforming again, he does have some infantry inside. He's got uh, what is that? Two units of cohort and one of his Sociae Extraordinare. So he's, mm -hmm. he does have a little bit of a uh, gap filler, I guess you could call it. If, if another unit pulls out, he can just throw one of those units in the center into that line, and when that unit comes back, you know what I mean? He'll be able to just file them back through. Oh, yeah. So let's get back into this here. Horse Archer's moving up yet again on this side. Now you're starting to... Looks like you're starting. Yeah, you're starting to target his levies now, over here. Yeah, I'm taking advantage of the fact they have low armor here. Yeah, yeah, they do have pretty low armor. So f actually, your their armor is better than your horse armor. <laughs> <laughs> levies armor is 15. Your horse archers is only 10. It might be the shield they carry compared to ours. Probably, yeah. So this is this is a lot of uh, basically just mind games right now, as far as you're concerned. A lot of my games, yeah. So he's now in a position where he he can't do anything about it. I mean, he really couldn't against an army full of cavalry. But for those of your viewers who know their history, the Battle of Carahy, mm. with uh, when uh, the name of the Roman general eludes me, but he found himself in a situation exactly like this. It did not go down well at all. Mm. Yeah, this general's Carahy. not having a good day. He's already down to twelve men left. And they have not lives. really <laughs> done much of anything. Um, but also, a couple more. you may. F I, well, I'll get onto that later because I wasn't. I, I wasn't thinking this at this exact moment at this mm. point. Mm. So when it comes up, I'll let you know. And there goes his oh. general. There goes his general. Wow. Wow. That's 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 kind of rough. <laughs> that's kind of rough. His infantry really hasn't done very much of anything, and their general is dead. Let's just check real quick. I'll put it back on a slow motion. 12, 18. Oh, you still have a ton of ammo. Oh, yeah. Oh, this could last for literally days. You have another unit back over here hasn't even shot a single <laughs> arrow yet. This could last for days. Is that another unit? No, that's the noble blood that got hurt. Okay. All right, let's get back to this play in here. Oh, oh, oh! Seeing another unit of noble bloods moving up. What are they gonna? Are you gonna try and bum rush here? To a degree. Man, you pull back. Yeah. Mind games. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Pila. That was a lot of Pila volley. A lot of Pila that came out, and you didn't lose a single man. Did not lose a man. No, I did take a couple of Pila hits to some men, lowering the HP a little bit, but. Yeah, I mean, it's in the fight. It's in the fight. Well, I mean, the horse right there, he's got one in his leg. <laughs> you can see that. That probably doesn't feel too good. <laughs> horse is probably a little pissed off at you. <laughs> but yeah, this does not look... I mean, it's... But at, at the end of the day, it's still Rome. Mm -hmm. So this... Yeah. Even though he's all clustered up like this, this is still a very dangerous army. Very, very dangerous army. So I'm assuming that you probably were. You didn't think that you had this. You probably no, had I a didn't. feeling that you. Oh, you did. You thought you had this. I, I hate to. I mean, I hate to be one of those guys, but I, I kind of already knew how his mindset was working. I, I knew that he was waiting for me to come to him. 
Mm. I knew that my range outranged, outranged his, and his ve he's very limited. He only brought, like, say, what, three or four levies, was it? He's got three levies, and that was yeah, it. Well, he has, well, now he has two. One of them routed yeah. at this point. So he's not going to be able to cover all angles, uh, all angles of this box. So now what I'm looking to do is, if you're if you're paying attention, with uh, to, particular to my guys at the back, my depleted horse archer, this... as to where they're from where they're firing this one yeah i noticed that they're firing actually i just saw you were firing across to here he mm -hmm. acts that's what caused him to pop into his testudo there that doesn't stop me yeah because you still have the flank fire on him you're still exactly. shooting right into the side right into the sides um but yeah so but when he goes in this formation he also cannot use his peeler yep also yeah that's like uh any of the other units that have shield wall if you put them into shield wall, they can't throw their peelers. They cannot. Yeah. No, so that, that puts me in a good position whenever I want to, to get closer. His Triarii does not have peeler, so I can get as close as I want to, mm -hmm. to those guys at least. Oh yeah, this whole back line <laughs> here, aside of this one unit of cohort here, but they, the normal infantry units only have, what, th two, three peelers? Uh, give or take, yeah. Two and a little bit, I think. I know that the, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this unit's just getting destroyed. But there's not much he can do about it. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. He really doesn't have much of a choice of doing anything. Because even if he tried to turn this unit to stave off the arrows from these guys, this guy would just be able to start <laughs> firing into his side as well. Oh, what is breaking over here? Same reason. Cohort breaking over there, crossfire from these horse archers here. Wow! So you're now you're just starting to whittle them down. Yeah, that's that, that is the whole plan essentially. Wow! Oh, you're losing a couple archers over here, a couple horses. That's couple fine. Horses. I'll come back later. <laughs> I'll come back later when he's had a cup of coffee. All right, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for these freight trains to start coming in. I'm actually getting a little excited. I can't wait to see these 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 mobile tanks or whatever you want to call them just come in here and start putting in damage. Uh, just understand that because obviously this is a th it might be to my memory my first time playing as Parthia in a environment or a situation like this, mm -hmm. so I don't use everything to their full potential, and that's another levy unit gone. Another unit of wow, wow. So yeah, some of your viewers are probably going to get a little bit antsy <laughs> of what they see. So this is, uh, this kind of brings in a little bit, like we've, we've said it a couple of times, but I just want to touch on it again. This kind of brings in the psychology of these game, like the psych outs of, the, of these, of these kind of, these strategy games. You're mm -hmm. basically just playing with him right now. Not, not intentionally. I'm not trying to make it sound like this guy doesn't know how to play. It's just... You know, you have the advantage, like I said way back in the beginning, you have six units of archers, essentially, and they're on horses. He only had the three. Yeah, exactly. So if we look at the balance of power, uh, that has actually gone, I believe, a little it, bit better. It has gone up. up a little bit on your side. A very, very tiny bit it's moved up. Yeah, so taking this into account, I'm just trying to give myself every advantage I can. So I know that his units are a lot more slower than mine. He has a lot less ammunition than me. But oh, he's got yeah. himself a very solid defensive formation. If I had no ammo, he would tear me to shreds. Now, when you first loaded up into the battle and you, you know, you you put your army where you wanted them to be, you you formed up your lines and everything. When the battle first started and you looked across the way, were you kind of a little like, "Wow, this guy didn't take any archers"? A little bit, yeah. I am surprised he didn't uh, actually take any archers. Um, because Rome has one of the, if not the best, is it, it? It's either the Syrian archers or the Cretan archers are the best archers in the game. That was a good volley, by the way. That was a very <laughs> good volley. Wow, he actually took out a lot of you guys down to twenty-seven <laughs> um, in this unit. But yeah, no, the Syrian archers are one of the best. I, I, I think maybe the Cretans might top that in terms of uh, missile damage and capability and, and such. But Syrians are very, very good. Ooh. Oh, yeah. we got the Syrian. Uh, I just, I just went for Leroy. <laughs> yeah, well, no, it makes sense, but you did lose. Well, you only lost ten. You only lost about ten right here. That's that was the loss 
on that volley before you charged in. But look at the... I mean, the general being dead is definitely in your favor, but, I mean, look at his morale, this unit's morale. I mean, it's... And that's something else as well, with the general being dead. The early, I think the earlier you kill the general, the more, more effect it has on the morale of the army. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Now, this looks like... I mean, it was a good opportunity. I'll put this back on slow motion again. This is a good opportunity, but are you kind of just basically using your horse archers here as... Um, not, I don't want to say throw away, but like a easy in and out because of how fast they can move, because there are, I mean, these, this unit of legionnaires, the cohorts still do have their peeler. So you were, yeah. you were chancing a big loss in this unit. Was that just something you were like, well, I do have so much other cavalry and I would still actually still have five other units of horse archers. So this one, not really that big of a loss. Was that kind of something that was in your head right there? I knew it was going to be risky, but at the same time, oh, here comes another one. Oh, uh, that was the no medium cavalry. Sure I'm not too sure what I was doing. They're probably just chasing away, saying "fuck off" or something. I, mean, I would imagine. <clears throat> I would imagine because before he started pulling back, your your horse archers were around here. They were still here, so I'm thinking that maybe you were having an eye on trying to get at least maybe a little bit of a rear charge in onto them, or a flank charge at least before they went back behind the lines. Does Median Cavalry, do they have Pila as well? Or do they just they have do not. They don't, they no, just I have think all I, ha all I have for any sort of range is the Horse Archers. That's that's all I have. Okay. Basically. Okay. Um, so already, you can already... I mean, he yeah, he's he's got a couple of units inside here, but look at how much... Down to 50 on this side. This side at 58, still in the Testudo. I mean, you can see... As you say. That he's lost a lot of guys compared to you really not losing a whole lot. Yeah, pretty much. I'm, I think I lost maybe two half, well, a, a whole archer unit's worth of cavalry. Mm. If you count the, the, the ones that I've lost. So yeah, lost yeah, half, if, you, half, if you combine half, them, half. yeah, I would say maybe. But he's lost easily a whole cohort, all of his levies now. And I'm pretty sure, I think one may have run out of ammo, um, but a couple of others did. I think the last two did have a good two or three volleys, maybe, <laughs> judging by the kill I think they had. This is not good. This no. is not good right here. Because they're all just getting shot primarily. Oh, now you got two units over here. This <laughs> unit's going to die. And now he's marching them away from you. See, do you yeah. think Do you think <laughs> that it would have been more beneficial? Because now he's got his back. Like, he's. they're all finally turning around. Do you think it might have been a little bit beneficial for him to not be in the Testudo and quickly move them over there and then reform the Testudo? Um, that's the thing. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go on a whim here and say yes. A lot of people would say, no, 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 definitely have Testudo. But the reason being is them being in Testudo, with the way the game works, is that it doesn't calculate... I mean, obviously, you can obviously see here the, that the arrows realistically would be hitting the top of the shields. But yeah. The game doesn't register that. It's actually hitting the back of them, game-wise, hitbox-wise. Mm -hmm. Now, they're all also clumped together. Yeah. Which makes it such a small target. So I'm bound to hit something. So as you can see, barely any arrows are missing. Yeah. They're well, that first, the first couple of volleys there were definitely a lot of shields, but now you now you're starting to see a lot more guys starting to drop. Actually, yeah, so you clipped you clipped one or two of these uh, equites as well while firing at this unit. Yeah, I wasn't particularly too worried about the equites because I know my cavalry completely outclassed them in every single way. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Um, so I was willing to let them stay. I mean, I think a couple of equites soldiers are dead, but that's mainly due from like uh, you know cross uh, you know. Yeah, this unit's the, down. Damage. This unit's down fifteen. This is only this one's only down by two, though. So. But you've been constant. I mean, if we just look at the arm, at the this one's at fifty, this one's at ninety-four now. We've got fifty-eight there, one twenty, one seventeen. So it looks like just just from where the bodies are laying out on this inside here, you're doing a lot more damage on this side than you are on that side at this point. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, so. oh, 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 no. I see an opportunity. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and this is where I learned a little bit about the uh, the pathways. Mm. Because, as naive as well, I think naive, but um, 
as inexperienced as I was playing with Parthia, mm -hmm. I still at this point I didn't actually realize that, and I'm gonna sound stupid for saying it, I know I will, but I didn't realize that the the fact that you know they have a lot of armor, <laughs> they're gonna be slower and less agile. Yes. Uh, I I, I kind of didn't factor that in, so I did lose a few guys there, as you saw. Yeah, you um, down to down about six. Armor's ninety on these uh, eastern cataphracts. What is it on the? Uh... One ten. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that is a tank. That. <laughs> but see, I still, I don't, I don't know why he still got this unit in. Oh, how many was that? Ten. <laughs> at least, at least ten on that. But see, oh, he's getting, he's, he's coming out on you a little bit here. Yeah, at this point, I'm now kind of getting less and less fond of my horse archers. Yeah, that's a cavalry charge. So yeah, at this point, I am getting less fond of them because they are getting low on ammo. Yeah. So it matters a little bit meh to me if I lose a lot. Mm. I mean, there's, there are still some horse archers I haven't been used. Here comes your general, big charge in onto these cohorts as well. Yeah, and take note, I did not use trample because, again, I was completely unaware. Yeah. Of, um, but yeah, here, so. okay. So this is this is this. We're now battle started at about thirty. What was that? Thirty-seven minutes or so. Yeah. So, so twenty, 20 minutes, minutes in. in, now we're starting to see the really the beginning of the end here for Rome, because now your bigger cavalry's in here, and you're starting to just basically smash them. Essentially, <laughs> and because they're so well armored, they can take them. They yeah. Can in, they can sit in melee for a good, say, thirty seconds and not really take many casualties. One of his units of cavalry is on its way out the door here. I mean, you can still see, like this cohort forty-two. So you've been doing a. You've been. You, I mean, this. These are the units that were getting shot by the archers. But I mean, even on just on those charges, this one's down to ninety-five. This one has lost nineteen in that unit. Triaria is a spear unit, so but they've only lost. I mean, they've lost eight. This unit of Equites is thirty-one. So you're you're now just basically just steamrolling his army whenever you have the chance. What is he doing now? So now he's forming a tighter, <laughs> a tighter box. Oh God! Uh, and this isn't good. Nope. At this point, <laughs> it was all targets galore for me. <laughs> good. I was I was having fun at this point. Yeah. Was there was there any? Uh, I'm just gonna put it on slow motion again. Was there any uh, conversation going on between the two of you at this point? Oh yes, and it pains me that you cannot actually look at it. He was uh, he was still giving all this big man macho stuff, uh -huh. um, saying how uh, you know you don't have the numbers, and you know I'm gonna skewer you and your family. Is <laughs> really? I was, oh yeah, he, he was he was a very toxic player. Wow. Um, I, I was just having a good time because I know that he was mainly making all these points out of frustration because very, very rarely I would reply. And when mm. I did reply, it would be like, okay, dude, or yeah, nice one, mm. that sort of thing. Because if I, because I'm the sort of person where if I start talking smack and I lose, I feel like I never give. Oh, yes. <laughs> so yeah. I don't like to do that. So just in case I lost, I didn't give him <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. ooh, could have He could have done a pretty good number there. He could have, but now I can do it. <laughs> yeah, now you can come in on him. See, I if I was right there, right at that exact moment, I wish I had the. I gotta fix the the files and get this. Uh, right at that moment when you were when you were uh, microing over here with this horse cavalry unit, these couple of units of triarii and and cohort, I would have hit your general. I mean, they're already down to thirty six guys. You have less men than I do. If I was playing Rome, you have less men. I think that might have worked in his favor had he actually followed through with that charge instead of oh, now yeah. giving giving his back. You could have come in and gotten a charge in, but still, again, damn horse archers just getting some really good <laughs> shots in. And now, like right here, he's got some sort of a triangular something going on it doesn't really look like he has much of a chance I mean the, like I, I said it a few minutes ago you know it's still Rome 
they this this is still a lot of tough units. I mean, the the cohort. I don't know very much about the Sociae Extraordinare, but the Triarii. We looked at the stats. They're all pretty solid units still. It's just he's he's got himself in this diamond arrowhead shaped box. I mean, how I wish that Rome two gave the speed of the units. Yeah. Because I don't know if it would have been a bad idea for him to use... See, only still only have one of the units of cavalry. You know, I don't know if it wouldn't have been a bad idea for him to at least scare your units of ca of, of archers away. With his That's cavalry. why I keep my melee cavalry so close. Yeah. I'm waiting for it. But he's got all this cavalry. He's not really doing anything with it. Well, he's only got one left now. <laughs> you killed the other... You killed his general and the other unit. So he doesn't really have. He doesn't. Uh, this is this is very much a rock and a hard place kind of situation. It looks like. This looks it's really, it. really not. He doesn't. There's no aside of having Rome. You know, arguably the first or second best faction in the game, depending on who you ask. It doesn't really like he. He's 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 rock and a hard place right here. Even with having one of the top. Uh, Argument's sake, top five best factions in the game? Pretty much. Yeah, no, pretty much. Um, Rome does like agility on the battlefield. Well, um, I think you killed his his agility units already. His levies are gone. <laughs> 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 These are all just... This is, this is all more just trash uh, garbage cans with eyeballs, basically. <laughs> Yeah, everything here is very heavy, very heavy, very heavy. Yeah, I see. I don't. As I have played as Rome a few times, uh, I am not a fan of playing as Rome because I feel personally I feel like it's cheating playing as Rome because they're that good. Um, but I still his. I understand taking the 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 best units, but. I don't know. I, I I would have imagined Rome having, like we were saying just before, some some archers and you know maybe some Praetorians and regular legionnaires, stuff like you know normal. He could get a lot more units, and I don't see any chevrons really. Oh, we got a charge. Is this gonna pull up? Yeah, it pulls up. But I'm not really seeing any uh, uh, chevrons on his side at all, which. If he didn't take all of these really high tier units, I mean, he could have taken uh, four Syrian or three Syrian archers, a unit of slingers, and and gold chevron, a ton of legionnaires. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. That probably would have been more beneficial for him than to have obviously bringing Triarii, especially to a field battle, is is. You know, kind of goes without saying. It's definitely something you want because they're just the stats alone for their price makes them worth it. I do agree. Oh, oh, oh. oh you pulled up again. I'm still waiting. Oh no. Okay, he moves back. I thought he might have just followed. But yeah. yeah. Now his Triarii here in the center, his Equites is getting cut down. Now he's just blobbed. Oh my gosh, what kind of formation is that? It's not a formation. <laughs> that is, that, that is something, that is something special right there. I'd like to quote, we're about 11 minutes in, at this point he was still talking a lot of smack. That's amazing. That's amazing. I mean, if it was friendly, then I... Was this just a charge of opportunity? It was, um... Mess, mess them up a little bit. If they've okay. got any peeler, get the peeler out now. Gotcha. Sort of, sort of move. Well, you did a lot of damage. I mean, his, his, his cavalry's now down to 14 men, so... I'm not, I'm not actually trying to aim for the cavalry, they're just in the way. <laughs> Ooh. 
Uh oh. Oh, that was nasty. Again, sorry, no trample. Yeah, man, trample. You could have probably killed it. I mean, you're still killing more Triolia as you're coming out. Ooh, another charge on the other side. <laughs> and now and he's another charge. Yes, yeah, so now he's like, oh, oh, head's just on the swivel. Like, what? What's happening? Yeah. And by, I'm going to assume by this point, with your, with your, you know, going around and around and around, I'm assuming that it, oh, no, that unit still had some peel. But they just got hammered. Oh, he let his cavalry out. Oh, uh, well, that goes goodbye. And now he really has no shot at all. Now he literally has no shot at all because he is so all over the place here. He's totally, he's just so blobbed up. He really, it's, I mean, I'm not trying to talk for the guy. Do we have another charge now? Uh, I'm not trying to talk for the guy. I don't know who this player is, but if I was playing as Rome right here, I would, I would still try. Um, but I don't think I would really have a very strong feeling of winning at this point. I feel you. I know what you mean. I mean, because you're basically you just you just you just well, nipping off. Point, he He's kind of just dug his own grave because if I charge my cataphracts in, I'm not hitting one unit. I'm hitting, I'm hitting like six. Yeah, that's the so so close together. Even with your archers, even if your archers, you 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 say you were just like this flag here, this legionary cohort flag here. They're so bunched up. All of these other units are going to take shots as well. So this is this is a huge detriment. What do we have here? Double charge again. Some of the noble blood cavalry coming in again, just whittling down more units. Probably can come in, get a get good five to seven seconds into melee combat and pull them back out again. Oh god! <laughs> that at least was a good idea. He tried to counter charge you. That, that, you know, I'll give him that. He tried. He didn't just sit there and take it. And he used the Triarii to try and countercharge you, which is beneficial, but... <laughs> I, suppose it's, it, I suppose it can be good. I'm still trying to work out whether or not the, the way the drone works. Or, or... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I was going to stay back like this because I keep missing the flags. When we see but, a unit yeah, coming in, I'll zoom in on them. I'm still trying to work out with how the mechanics works. I, I'm not too sure if a counter charge against cavalry with infantry is better than being stationary. Because if you're stationary, you can brace. But if you're moving, you're not braced. Yeah, That's but it. if it's a spear unit... Oh, if it's a spear unit, you can have a lot more luck. I would figure you would want to try and counter charge. I mean, if you can lock into a position with a spear oh, unit, obviously, then do that. But I mean, if... Like that, what the situation that was just over here, you had charged in, you pulled that unit back, he was moving the Triarii forward, like it looked like he was just trying to reform them, you started charging in another unit and he charged at them, I think that was a little bit more beneficial for him than for you at that moment, just as far as the clash was concerned, because I don't think either one of you really lost a lot of guys in that charge. But he didn't lose as many as he could have if they were stationary. If that makes any sense. Like, if, obviously, if they were facing you, then you would have lost more guys. It's a spear unit. That, I get. But, you know what I mean? I know what you mean, yeah. I get it. But at this point, I like to compare kills. I like to see how many kills, roughly, his men have got. Mm. Oh, I God. I didn't remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> you don't remember pulling that up there? No. Oh, here comes the general. What's he doing? Just riding around a little bit. Sunday stroll. Sunday stroll. Or are you a distraction because now this unit of cavalry is moving in again? Nope. Everybody's just gonna stop and kind of hang out. Oh, now you just now you just circle in the parking lot. Now you just now you just completely completely engrossing him. <laughs> 
at this point I'm th I'm thinking he must be either very very low or completely out of Pila. Mm, I would say that he's probably out of Pila completely. He must uh, be. Well, no, this is this, I mean this is intermingled Triari and cohort. So yeah, I would say that he probably does not have any Pila. He's just got the spears from the Triari I left. Ooh, big charge there. Another coming in again. Hmm. So you said earlier that you eventually do start using the uh, cavalry abilities, or no? I do eventually. I don't like to spoil things, but I do eventually, just to put everybody's <laughs> mind at ease. <laughs> so you eventually do see that little? Because I just I'm just gonna show it to the people in case you. Uh, whereas uh, cataphracts, if you count the second circle in there from the left, the thing that looks like a horse, uh, like a like a horse foot, <laughs> horseshoe. That yeah, that's trampled, and it does a disgusting amount of damage. I don't know if I can. Oh, I can read it. Oh, it just adds the charge bonus. That's the charge, charge bonus. bonus to the uh, to the detriment of fatigue. <laughs> Here we go again, some more cycle charges coming in. Oh, oh, why did he pull this unit out? Probably trying to go for your general. So I, I completely changed target when I saw that. And I'm going to have a field day. I mean, I kind of, okay. Just for a brief second, I kind of understand why he did this. He's so, probably feels like he's out. Let's just get an eye on this real quick. Beautiful. Oh, That's just watch the guys get thrown back. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but, yeah, back over here real quick. I can understand to agree, de a degree, there we go, of why he would throw that unit out there. Because your general was roughly here. He probably was just taking a shot. You know what I mean? He was probably just trying to give make an opportunity. Maybe thinking oh, yeah, that you were okay. microing somewhere else. I mean, like you said earlier, it is better than just doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah, guys, uh, guys who are, you know, guys who are uh, watching this video and everything, if you see something and it ends up not working, at least you can say you tried it. And you'll now, you can weigh the option the next time if you ever find yourself in that kind of situation again. You can go, well, I've experienced it this way, or, you know, I tried it this way, let me try it another way, or maybe it'll work that first time. You know what I mean? There's, there's, you have to take chances, and the only that's the only, that's really aside of aside of losing a whole lot, you have to ch you have to take chances. That's the, really the only way you're going to get better at these games, especially playing in multiplayer battles, is you, you have to take chances. What did I miss? My trample. Oh, there it is. Oh, I used it. Fine, you should have said something. Oh, 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 we got trample here. Much more effective. Much more effective. Now, see, yeah. but why are you pulling them out so fast? Because, again, I know this now. I did not know this at the time. You can keep them in there, and they still do damage with trample. Oh. I didn't know this. Yeah, dude, <laughs> as long as... the impact of charge. As, as long as... Oh, another big charge. Now we start to lose the spear units. Yeah. We understand. Yeah. Army lost penalty. Look at that. But still, he still has the balance of power. He still has the balance of power. I wonder if that's because of the type of units that he has. Maybe that's how Rome kind of gauges it sometimes. Because he still has a lot of the heavy infantry. You have light horses, some median cavalry. You know what I mean? Maybe his units are yeah. tougher. Maybe that's one of the factors that goes into the balance of power math. Maybe. I don't know what. Uh, I, I've got no idea what it works. I think it could be. I really have no works. idea what the, how, how it works either. <laughs> but he definitely no longer holds a numerical advantage of the Oh no, definitely not anymore, no. All of his units are beaten up. 28 there, 39 there, 54, 72, 59, 26, 41, and 75. Yeah, you definitely have the... You definitely have the number advantage. And you have the, you have the strategic advantage, because he doesn't really... 
I mean, you still we're still seeing some some. That's peeler. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, we're still like I said, we still see some peeler here and there, but that's literally probably the last couple of little drips and drabs that anybody still in this army here from Rome has. He does not have. He can't possibly with the amount of cavalry charges and you know coming in and running out and coming in that you did with your cavalry. There's no way he could possibly still have any pila left here. There's no way. Hear a horn. Hear a horn. Just waiting for it. I see this move. Oh. Oh, did you see? This guy right here. That guy, right there, where my cursor's on here, he literally slammed into two guys. Oh. 18 seconds left. I'm going to assume that they all just immediately start wavering here. Yeah. Looks like a, a uh, mass route. Oh, let's get it. One more charge in there. So there you go. Close victory here for Dan. Close victory. Somehow that was a close victory. Let's check out the uh, the kills here, kills and, and deaths, and see really how close. So right off the bat, you have a thousand less men than he does. Right off a the bat. Thousand less. But you have fourteen hundred ninety-two kills with three ninety-two losses. Wow. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the uh, army comps here. Is Dan's Royal Cataphract General here with 101 kills? Eastern Cataphracts 155, Median Cavalry 51, Noble Blood 147, 42, uh, 45, and 134. So really, pretty good job. This unit, me, I mean, it's but that's just Median Cavalry. So I mean, they're not, they're not heavy. They're just medium, right? Are they just medium cavalry? They're not a. Are they very? Are they like a, a heavy melee? Maybe? I think they are heavy melee, yeah. Okay. I think they are cut above medium. Uh, we're getting into your... So we don't really have any um, fantastic, you know what I mean, like run over 400, 500 kills for a unit here I'm seeing. It was basically you used your entire army to the best of the ability that this army could be used for it was targets of opportunity. Basically, so Pretty it wasn't much, yeah. in your head. In your head, it wasn't a. I'm going to go in and get uh, royal cataphracts. Are all going to walk out with over 350 kills, and the cataphracts are going to pull out with another 200 and stuff like that. You just basically saw what Rome lined up with, and you forced him to play your game. Pretty much, yeah. Essentially, that is it. Pretty I good stuff. I put him in a position where he could not make a decision, or at least a. Uh, decisive decision for himself. Yeah. He had to. Every decision he did make was the counter one of mine. Hmm. And I kept him in that position. I didn't let him leave, basically. Yeah. General here for him. Zero kills. His two equites, nine and four. Levies, nine, five. Ooh, this one with 59 kills. That's probably one of the uh, horse archer units that you left in there, but you didn't lose any units. You came close oh, I lost this. One. This unit of this horse archer here. Oh, is is there still like a little red patch? It's a very tiny sliver there. Just very, one guy. Very one guy yeah, one left. dude stayed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, getting even getting into his cohort here. 60, 50, uh, 60, 9, 51, 18, 28, 42. So, guys, just I'm gonna end the uh, replay here. Dan, thanks for coming in, dude. I know you're kind of busy. Uh, but thanks for coming in and you know going over this battle with me. Hopefully this will be a little bit of a uh, guidance, I guess, for some of the other people who maybe feel a little overwhelmed sometimes in, in field battles. That I mean, this is again, this is a cavalry army, but this maybe will be a little bit, um, I guess, to a degree, maybe an instructional kind of video where even you're you because you're using a lesser army compared to Rome. Parthia is definitely lower on the chain as far as Rome is concerned. Would you agree with that? Even with the agree. even with the cataphracts. Yeah, no, I would. I would. Um 
the problem I usually find with I think of or I, I've said this to you sometimes, Joe, is because this is a game. Mm. You can't employ a tactical or a strategic element to what you would, let's say, in real life. Yes. So, I think he was hosting this, and he chose. It was him who chose the field mm-hmm. where it was completely flat. Yeah. And I'm cavalry. That's my wet dream. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially. So. Yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, all throughout history, armies won and lost battles through the terrain. The, the movement, the logistics, and that sort of thing, and that's something you can't really implement in uh, multiplayer battles, but there are other things you can do. Yeah. If that makes sense. Well, if, if there was no other lesson learned, what you just said right there, you forced him into your game. Yes. So, well, like mm-hmm. I said, Dan, thanks a lot, dude, for, for you know giving me a couple of minutes, or roughly an hour or so of your time, you know, going over this battle. Thanks again for sending it to me. That was really cool. I, I actually... It, it, this was this was a really fun battle to go over the way that we did. You know, we had a lot of a lot of conversation. And it was it was very informative. It was very informative. So I want to thank you for uh, you know doing this with me and, and and going over this battle replay with me. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. It was good to be here. All right, good to give my uh, my view on it all. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, like I said at the like I say, um, you know, if you like the video, please feel free to give it a like. Uh, comment on it if you will. I'm pretty sure Dan will keep his eyes out for any sort of comments that go his way as far as this battle is concerned. Feel free to continue subscribing to the channel. I did see earlier today that we have now broken over 500. Pretty Yay. sure we're close to about 510 now subscribers. So guys, I can't, I still say it every time. I cannot say it enough. Thank you so much for the support. Um, it's It's still... It's still a shock to me. It's still a shock to me. I did not expect this to, you know, I didn't expect any of this to really go off the way that it did. But thank you very much for the continued support. And uh, Dan, again, thanks for stopping by. Guys, I will talk to you soon.